Hello dear students of class 4th in subject maths today under mission chat pratishat will solve the questions from 15 to 20 of practice sheet 2 so come let's start question number 15 is how much lace would be bought for the below given dupatta dear students to calculate the lace required for given dupatta we have to find the sum of all the sides of this dupatta and what we call the sum of all the sides yes perimeter so students we will find the perimeter of this dupatta by adding lengths of all its sides so let's add first is 2 meter 2 plus 1 that's 3 meter 3 plus 2 5 meter and 5 plus 1 that's 6 meter so 6 meter lace is required for the given dupatta now let's select the correct option option a is 12 meter is it the right answer no we need 6 meter lace next option b is 6 meter which is the required lace and is the right answer so let's tick the option b Next question number sixteen is which of the following figures area is nine square centimeter? Given if each square has the area of one square centimeter, dear students, you see that in every figure each square is of area one square centimeter. So come, let's find which figure has. Nine square centimeters, and that's nine squares. In figure given in option A, it has one, two, three, four, five, and six squares. So this is not the right answer. Next, in figure given in option B, let's count the squares in it. It's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So, how many squares are there? Yes, nine. So, its area is nine square centimeter, which is the required answer. So, let's take the option B. Now, question number seventeen is the given tally bar is used for which of the following number? Dear students, in this tally bar. the fifth mark crosses diagonally the four marks to show a group of five and the three individual bars shows three so 5 plus 3 8 is the number shown by the tally bars now let's select the correct answer from the given options here option a is 9 which is the wrong answer option b is 7 which is also wrong option c is 8 which is the correct option so let's take the option c next question number 8 is observe the following pie chart and find out that how many students like mangoes if there are total 20 students in a class dear students look at this pie chart carefully in it the count of students who like a particular fruit is shown we know that the total students are 20 and the number of students who like banana are 1/4 means fourth part of 20 that's 20 divided by 4 that is equal to 5 students in same way number of students who like apple are also 1/4 means five students are there in same way how many students like mango yes the students who like mango are half that's 1 by 2 so half of 20 is 10 so 10 students like mangoes so which is the right answer from the given options yes it's option a 10 so let's tick the option a Now next question number 19 is 
observe and complete the pattern. Dear students, before selecting the right answer, first of all understand the pattern. First is 4, then 12, then 36. You know that 12 is multiple of 4 and 36 is multiple of 12, which means the succeeding terms are formed by multiplying the preceding terms. Now let's find with which number we should multiply 4 to get 12. Yes, that's 3. 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. In same way, on multiplying 12 by 3, we get 36. And if we follow the same pattern, then on multiplying 36 by 3, we get 108. And if we multiply 108 by 3, we get the value 324. So, 108 and 324 will complete the given pattern. Now, let us select the correct option. Here option A is 72 and 108. Is it the right answer? No. Option B is 108 and 324. Is it the right answer? Yes, it is the correct answer. So let's pick the option B. Now next question number 20 is How many symmetric lines can be drawn in alphabet A? Dear students, do you know about line of symmetry? Yes, exactly right. A line of symmetry is a line that cuts a shape exactly in half. This means that if you were to fold the shape along the line, both halves would match exactly. So, how many such lines we can draw in alphabet A so that it can be divided into two equal halves? Yes, we can draw one such line of symmetry. And here the given options are option A, 1, option B, 2, option C, 3 and option D, 0. So, which is the right answer? Yes, it is option A, 1. So, let's pick the option A. And dear students, now it's turn for your homework. And in your homework, you have to solve the questions from 15 to 20 of practice sheet 2 of Mission Shat Pratishat. Neatly in your notebooks. Bye-bye students. We'll meet in the next video.